This is a regular meeting of the Township Committee. Public notice of this meeting has been given as required by the Open Public Meetings Law. A resolution was adopted on January 1st, 2023, designating this date, this fall on 7.30 p.m. as the time for this regular meeting of the Township Committee of the Township of Union and the County of Union. A notice of each and every meeting of the Township Committee was posted in accordance with the aforesaid Open Public Meetings Law in one public place reserved for the posting of ordinances and official notices of the Township of Union namely the bulletin board next to the clerk's office. In addition thereto, a copy of said resolution was forwarded to the local source in Star Ledger. A copy of said resolution is on file with the clerk of the township. Thank you, Madam Clerk. This evening, the prayer will be led by Deputy Mayor Cavadas, and the flag salute will be led by Committeeman Bowser. Would you all please stand? God of power, might, wisdom, and justice, through you, authority is readily administered. Laws are enacted and judgment is decreed. Assist this township committee with your spirit of counsel and fortitude and guide us to seek righteousness, justice, and mercy and assist us in leading our township with honesty and integrity. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, Madam Clerk, may I have a roll call, please? Mr. Florio? Here. Ms. Delsport? Present. Mr. Bowser? Present. Ms. Cavadas? Present. Mayor Figueroa? Present. Uh, I'd like to have a motion to approve the minutes of the conference in regular session on January 10th, 2023. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Madam Clerk, can we move on with ordinances and resolutions, please? I have for consideration on second and final reading an ordinance amending ordinance number 3729 to add a handicapped space in front of 1941 William Street. Move the ordinance be taken up for second and final reading. Second. An ordinance amending the designation of restricted parking spaces for use by persons with special vehicle identification cards in the Township of Union, Union County, New Jersey. This ordinance creates a handicapped space in front of 1941 William Street. Is there anyone from the public who wishes to speak on this ordinance? Will the ordinance be adopted? Second. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsport? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. Vacating a portion of We Wanna Avenue. Uh, move the ordinance be taken up for a second and final reading. Second. An ordinance of the Township of Union, County of Union, State of New Jersey, vacating a portion of the public street known as We Wanna Avenue in the Township of Union, Union County, New Jersey. Is there anyone from the public who wishes to speak on this ordinance? Move the ordinance be adopted. Mayor Second? Second. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsport? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. I have your consideration on draft and first reading an ordinance authorizing the implementation of mandatory direct deposit of pay for all township employees. Move draft be taken up on first reading by title at this time. Second. An ordinance supplementing chapter 122 payroll of the code of the township of Union to establish article two mandatory direct deposit for the implementation of mandatory direct deposit of pay for all township employees. Move draft be taken up at the next regular meeting scheduled, meeting of the second and final reading. Second. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsfort? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavada? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. May I have an, another motion to take it up on second reading, please? Move draft be taken up at the next regular scheduled meeting for second and final reading. Second. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsfort? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. Providing for the flood mitigation facilities project of the joint meeting of Essex and Union Counties. Will the draft be taken up first reading by title? Second. Bond ordinance providing for phases 2B, 3B, 4, 5, and 6 of the local units allocable share of the flood mitigation facilities project of the joint meeting of Essex and Union Counties by and in the Township of Union, in the County of Union, State of New Jersey, the local unit, appropriating $10,140,000 therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $10,140,000 bonds or notes to finance the cost thereof. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsport? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. 
Mayor Figueroa. Yes. Will the draft be taken up at our next regularly scheduled meeting for second and final reading? Second. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Bellsport? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. Following resolutions amending the 2023 <coughs> temporary budget appropriations. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Bellsport? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. Authorizing appropriation transfers for the first three months of the fiscal year. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Florio? Yes. Ms. Delsfort? Yes. Mr. Bowser? Yes. Ms. Cavadas? Yes. Mayor Figueroa? Yes. Authorizing change order number one, increasing the amount to Grenada Construction Corporation by $83,750, resulting in a revised total contract amount of $2,832,399.10 for the 2022 Road Improvement Program Phase 3. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing change order number two and final, increasing the amount to ADG Construction Corporation by $59,942.69, resulting in a revised total contract amount of $2,187,211.09 for the 2021 Road Improvement Phase 2. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing change order number two and final, increasing the amount to Crossroads Construction Corporation by $22,721.05, resulting in a revised total contract amount of $1,061,740.49 for the 2021 Road Improvement Program, Lehigh Avenue, Phase 1. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing change order number four and final, increasing the amount to Lancia Construction Corporation by $243,855.25, resulting in a revised total contract amount of $2,888,358.03 for the 2022 Road Improvement Program Phase 2. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Authorizing the payment of all approved vouchers for solid waste collection, haulage, and disposal at the interim rate of $75.09 per ton for household waste and $107.12 per ton for bulky waste for the month of December. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Authorizing an agreement between the Township and the Borough of Kenilworth for the use of the Police Firearms Training Facility. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Authorizing an agreement between the Township and the Borough of Roselle for the use of the Police Firearms Training Facility. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing an agreement between the Township and the Borough of Roselle Park for the use of the Police Firearms Training Facility. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing an agreement with the John H. Stamler Police Academy to utilize the firing range for the Union County Police Trainees. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing an award of contract to Survivor Fire and Security, Inc. for inspection, testing, and maintenance of sprinkler systems, fire extinguishers, and fire alarms for various buildings for a fee not to exceed $10,000. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing a contract with Road Safety Systems through the Mars County Co-op for the purchase and replacement of guardrails throughout the township for an amount not to exceed twenty thousand dollars. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of landscaping equipment and parts from P&P Lawnmowers Inc. for an amount not to exceed five thousand dollars. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of fuel from Riggins, Inc. for an amount not to exceed $230,000. State contract number 19, Fleet 00969. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase and installation of cameras and microphone equipment for the upgrades to the interview room at the police department from Johnston Communications for an amount not to exceed $21,725. State contract number T13168082. For approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of diesel fuel for township vehicles from National Fuel Oil for a fee not to exceed $125,000. State contract number 19, food 01100. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Authorizing the purchase of janitorial supplies from Mooney General Paper Company for an amount not to exceed $40,000 through the Educational Services Commission of New Jersey. Move to authorize the purchase. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing the maintenance and repairs of road maintenance equipment from Jesco Inc. for an amount not to exceed $15,000. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
authorizing the purchase and repair of landscaping equipment from J&A Mower for an amount not to exceed $10,000. conclude the purchase. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of building supplies from Home Depot for an amount not to exceed $45,000. State contract number 18, Fleet 00234. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of safety equipment for the Department of Public Works from Fastenal for an amount not to exceed $15,000. State contract number 19, Fleet 00565. Move to authorize the contract. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of tires and tubes from Goodyear Tire and Rubber, care of FNS Tire Corp. for an amount not to exceed $10,000. State contract 20 Fleet 00948. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Authorizing the purchase of tires and tubes from Bridgestone America, care of Cleveland Auto Tire for an amount not to exceed $25,000. State contract number 19 Fleet 00708. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of automotive and light truck parts from Samuels Inc. trading as Bywise for an amount not to exceed $55,000. State contract number 42071. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Authorizing repair services for motor vehicles from BJM Auto for an amount not to exceed $33,000. State contract number 89295. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Allowing the maintenance and repair of heavy duty vehicles from air brake and equipment for an amount not to exceed $15,000. State contract number 89279. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of various lock and keys from Advanced County Locksmith for an amount not to exceed $5,500. Move to approve the purchase. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Supporting the Dimension Renewable Energy Community Solar Projects. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of a 1994 Pierce ladder truck for the fire department from Huntington Regional Fire and Rescue for an amount not to exceed $30,000. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Authorizing the purchase of a 2007 Pierce rescue vehicle for the fire department from Rock Community Fire Protection District for an amount not to exceed $70,000. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing a contract with Johnson Communications to build the IT infrastructure at 1000 Galloping Hill Road for additional office space for the police department for an amount not to exceed $23,392.41. State contract number 80802. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Authorizing the participation in the 1033 program to receive excess Department of Defense personal property at no cost to the township and authorizing LISO operations to identify property on behalf of the township. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Amending resolution 2022-20, increasing the amount to express urgent care by an additional $8,665 for a total contract amount not to exceed $33,665. Move to authorize the contract. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Authorizing the Township Fire Department to purchase a 2001 Ford Explorer that is no longer needed by the EMU. Move for approval. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Amending resolution 2022-211, increasing the amount to BLM Consultants, LLC, by an additional $63,465 for a total revised contract amount of $278,363 for additional services in connection with the COVID-19 Rounds 1 and 3 amendments. For approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ask you to approve the finances as listed on the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The following communications from Terry Melanda, tax collector, requesting the Township Committee authorized checks issued to the following, representing the redemption of tax sales certificates as listed on the agenda. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Joseph Benizia, Township Engineer, requesting the following payments. Payment number four to your way construction in the amount of $274,208. $84.61 for work completed through November 30th, 2022, in connection with the Rapkin Park turf field improvements. Payment number five to Grenada Construction Corporation in the amount of $983,932.17 for work completed through January 6, 2023, in connection with the 2022 road program, phase three. Payment number seven and final to Lancia Construction Corporation in the amount of $919,935. 14 cents for work completed through January 6, 2023, in connection with the 2022 road program, phase two. Payment number seven and final to Crossroads Construction, Inc., 
the amount of $75,397.10 for work completed through December 31st, 2022 in connection with the 2021 road program, Lehigh Avenue, payment number seven and final to Crossroads Construction, Inc. in the amount of $96,289.28 for work completed through December 31st, 2022 in connection with the 2021 road program, phase two. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. From Cheryl Berger, Connecticut Farms Church, requesting to hang two four by five foot banners to advertise the nursery school program outside of the church from February 1st through February 28th, 2023. Move to approve your request. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. From Jack Beta, Jembro, requesting to hold a sidewalk sale in front of the store located at 1745 Morris Avenue, January 25th through February 27th, 2023. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ratifying a request from Gabby Selly, Union County St. Patrick's Day Committee, to hold the 26th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade with the use of the showmobile and the township bus on Saturday, March 11th, with a rain date of Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The following department reports reports from Fire Department and Municipal Court. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That concludes my part of the agenda. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We go on to our committee reports. Committee Woman Dallas Ford, please. Thank you, Mayor. From our Public Works Department, um, road maintenance, the paving crews continue to work on repairing potholes and patching sections of roads throughout the township. Since our last meeting, the road division has performed 117 pothole repairs, multiple crack filling repairs, and 45 street sweepings. As it relates to sewers, the sewer division continues to maintain catch basins, pump stations, and outfalls daily, performing repairs when necessary. Since our last meeting, the sewer division has performed 120 catch basin cleanings, 80 enzyme applications, five emergency calls, and two catch basin repairs. And shade tree division continues to maintain trees in parks, township properties, and in the township right of ways. Since our last meeting, the tree crews performed 12 removals, 18 trims, five stump grindings, 25 tree evaluations. And as it relates to re recycling, as a reminder, commingling materials should not be put out in plastic bags. So please place commingle materials in open containers for recycling pickup. All concerns or inquiries regarding all Division of Public Works can be addressed by calling Public Works at 908-686-1922 or by using the report concern feature on the township website. And that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you. Committeeman Florio, please. Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, in our continuing speed initiative, we had 135 stops, uh, of which 27% were union residents. On uh, some of the streets were Tucker, Self, Self Master, Walker, Salem, Liberty, Colonial, Vauxhall, and I said several others. Also, our truck enforcement, keeping trucks off the roads are not supposed to be. We had 11 stops, uh, primarily on Potter, which has become a cut through, and we're very concerned about that, and Elmwood. Uh, during the past two weeks, we had calls for service for 2,422, directed patrols with 1,383. And arrests were 48, and that's my report for tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Committeeman Bowser, please. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Recreation Department, the Union Recreation Department will be hosting its second annual bingo Saturday on January 28th at the Boys and Girls Club beginning at 12 p.m. This free event is open to all township of Union residents. However, advanced registration is required. Great prizes will be up for grabs, including household favorites like slow cookers, coffee makers. Uh, light refreshments will be served. To register for bingo, please call the office at 908-686-4200 or visit online registration catalog. The Union Recreation uh, Travel Basketball team will, will have their eyes on the playoffs as the regular season winds down. We invite our residents to come out and support our seven teams as they make a push for the championship. Home games are, will be held at Burnett and Kiwami Middle Schools on weekday evenings. Please contact the Recreational Department for the upcoming schedule of games so you can actually root for, your, for our young athletes. Uh, in regards to the Senior Center, the Senior Center, Center offers many opportunities for activities and socialization to promote a healthy lifestyle for better quality of life. 
Take advantage of some of the activities and programs like Healthy Bones on Tuesdays from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m., Lion Dancing on Friday from 10 to 11 a.m., Music and Movement on Tuesdays, 12.15 to 1, p 1 p.m., Valentine's, Valentine's Dance on, on Valentine's Day, um, February 14th from 1 to 3. A DJ and cupcakes will be provided. Health and Wellness, Uncomfortable Change uh, Series on February the 8th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Will, con will consist of an artistic demonstration of an uncomfortable conversation about mental illness and resource for assistance. Light refreshments will be available. Health Maintenance Program, Tuesday, February 14th, 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Nurse Prevention Service, blood pressure and blood sugar checks will be provided. Uh, just a reminder, the AARP tax aid begins on Thursday, February 9th through April the 13th. Schedule your appointment as soon as possible. Lunch program, the congregate lunch program is available at the Senior Center from Monday to Friday between the hours of 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The program provides participants with an opportunity to obtain a complete hot lunch. Participating seniors must be of 60 years of age and a resident of, the, of Union County. A volunteer donation of $1.75 is suggested for, the, for each meal. Reservations can be made by contacting 908-851-5293 at the center. Upcoming events, we have the Wind Creek Casino at Bethlehem, Pennsylvania on March the 16th. Tickets are $35 per person. Hunterdon Hill on April the 20th, million dollar quartet at $70 per ticket. Uh, sit down, lunch will be provided, transportation in the show. For any, for any additional information, call the center at 908-851-5290. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Cavathas, please. Thank you, Mayor. From our fire department, uh, this month they have reported they have responded to 236 emergency calls for service with 112 medical calls, one residential house fire, and two commercial building fires. Some significant events during this period are as follows. On January 11, fire apparatus responded to Rosemont Avenue for a residential structure fire. Upon arrival, firefighters found the fire traveling up the exterior of the house with the extension to the interior. Crews made an aggressive attack and the homeowners were able to stay in their residence. On January 14, fire apparatus responded to Morris Avenue and Stuyvesant Avenue for a vehicle fire. Upon arrival, fire was found in the truck cargo area. It was later determined that the batteries in the truck were the source of the fire. Also, on January 14th, fire apparatus responded to the business on Mars Avenue to assist the police department with an overcrowding complaint. On January 15th, fire apparatus responded to Mars Avenue for a dryer fire in a laundromat. Upon arrival, a moderate smoke condition was venting from the building and crews found clothing and the dryer on fire. Post extinguishment crews ventilated the structure, metered the, the building for carbon monoxide, and removed the damaged equipment from the building. The building health department also responded. On January 16th, fire apparatus responded to Tucker Avenue on a pedestrian struck by a postal vehicle. Patient was transported to University Hospital. On January 20th, fire apparatus responded to West Chestnut Street for a motor vehicle accident with the vehicle rollover. Three occupants were extricated by UFD and transported to the hospital by EMU. On January 22nd, fire apparatus responded to Green Lane on a fire in the warehouse on a commercial building. An aggressive attack was performed and the contents were salvaged. The Union County cause and origin team responded to investigate and the building department responded as well. Again, I want to take this time to thank our firefighters for all you do for us, but more importantly for one of these events that I noted here was that you guys, that you gentlemen acted in an aggressive manner. Because of that, you saved the residents home where they were able to move back in. So thank you for everything you do. I think that's important to point out. Thank you. And uh, that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, before I give my report, I have a few license applications for approval. I'm going to put this in the form of a motion. Gas stations, we have Dalta, Kirkland Gasoline, U.S. Gas, Union Power Gas, Sunrise Fuel Oil, Sunoco, RFRL Petroleum Corp, Raceway Petroleum Inc., Power Gas, One Stone, One Stone Group, LLC, 
2570 Route 22 East, MAA Nina Fuel LLC, Gasland, Energy SF SVC Corp, Delta Bright Moon Lehigh LLC, and the following BO BYOBs, Van Gogh's Ear Cafe, Petey Petey Barbecue, Barbecue Route 22, Gusto y Sabor, Rob's Deli, GT Eats, which is Johnny Napkins, and for junkyards, Union Auto Wreckers, which is at 2345 Route 22, Pet Shops, PetSmart LLC, Shaker Paw, and Amusement and Entertainment Licenses, Liberty Tavern, Costa del Sol, and Union Sports Arena. Second the motion. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, before I get into the body of my report, I really want to congratulate Alyssa Alcinder, and I hope I said her last name right. He's a female member of the Union High School wrestling team who recently placed first in the 2023 Elizabeth Lady Minuteman Classic, finishing 5-0, and and then finished 3-0 and in the Somerville Lady Pioneer Wrestling Jamboree. Congratulations to Alyssa and keep up the great work. I would love to have seen that match. Last Friday, the township and various local businesses were featured on Channel 12 News Weather on the Road with meteorologist Lauren Dew. I had the pleasure of joining them as we stopped by various businesses, cafes, bakeries, restaurants, and we ended up at the rooftop of Centurion Union Center. If you missed us on the news, you can see a highlight video on our social media site at TWP Union NJ. And in a few days, we will be kicking off our annual Black History Month celebration, featuring a month-long lineup of events. We begin our celebration with a film screening of the 2022 film, The Woman King. And this will be at Jefferson School on Saturday, February 11th at 2 p.m. Doors open at 1.30 p.m. This event is free, however, you need to have tickets, so tickets can be picked up from our clerk's office here at Town Hall. And this year we're excited to bring back our Black Excellence Art Gallery featuring local black artists at the Vauxhall Meeting Center. This will take place on Friday, February 17th from 6 to 9. And remember, Committee Woman Dallas Fort, when we were there, what was it, three years ago, it was a great event. It was the first one, and it's good to have that back up and running. Concluding our celebrations will be our first ever Black History Month celebration, featuring an array of local black-owned business vendors. There'll be live music, food vendors, and food trucks. This event will take place at our Union Senior Center, which is located at 652 Rowway Ave, on Saturday, February 25th, from 1 to 5 p.m. So you can see there's a lot of events for our Black History Month. For more details on any of these events, you can visit uniontownship.com. And uh, as you alluded to, Committeeman Bowser, uh, with the Valentine's Dance, we keep an eye out on social media because we have two upcoming events, Valentine's Day events, that are going to take place in our downtown, besides our meeting that night. But we will have two other events. And uh, please sign up for emergency and general notifications online at uniontownship.com. These updates are also posted on Facebook at TWP Union, New Jersey. And with that, I open up the meeting up to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, you have five minutes. Please step up to the microphone. Please identify yourself with name and address. Hi, my name, my name is uh, Polinar Montilla. I live at 883 Pennsylvania Avenue here in uh, Union. Um, the reason for my, you know, coming to this meeting here today is because last week my car was towed from in front of my house. The reason the car was towed was because the gentleman that lives across the street from where the car was parked did not want the car parked across the street from his house. So after a month of trading notes back and forth on my car, asking me to move the car, he took it upon himself to contact the town and say that the car, the car was abandoned. Mind you, this is a car that's perfectly working condition legally registered, legally insured, legally inspected, in zero, you know, 100% cosmetic condition, parked in front of my house. So he found that there's some town ordinance or rule where you can't be parked in a spot for more than 72 hours, which is news to me. It was news to him as well, because he told me he just found out when he called, and he's been living in this town for 20 years. So after doing that, the town took it upon themselves to come, 
surreptitiously, I guess, marked one of the tires, and after what they felt was an allotted amount of time, towed my car away. So if we have this obscure rule that is arbitrarily enforced because my other car that was parked two houses up and hasn't been moved for the same amount of time as the one that was towed, except the only difference being that it's parked in front of a house where nobody really cares that it's parked there, you know, um, neither of them moved for the same amount of time, the other one was towed. So my question is, before they towed the car, the town never took it upon themselves to place a summons on the car because if it's, if it's violating any parking violation, my expectation was that it would be summons. No summons was placed on the car, no indication that the car was in violation of any law or any ordinance was placed on the car. Simply, one morning I wake up because my neighbor next to me tells me, hey, they're towing the car and the car is gone. Now I'm forced to have to pay a $10 release fee to the town, $270 to the tow company for moving my car, which is basically three blocks from where it was parked to where the tow company is. You know, simply because somebody has a lot of hate and a lot of time and a cell phone that can go ahead and set this complaint for this car just because they don't want to park, not in front of their house, not blocking their driveway, not having anything to do directly in contact with their uh, home, but across the street from their house. So if we're going to have laws, I think they should be applied across the board. If we're going to be towing people's property, I think we should, at the very least, summons the car or put a notice that say, hey, this is a violation of this you know, ordinance that only certain people, I guess, are allowed to you know, know about. Because now I'm having to, pay, to play musical cars with my cars. The only person on the block that has to do this. Because not only was my car the only one that has been parked in the same spot for more than 72 hours. I'm pretty sure on any of your blocks, on any street you walk down, you will see cars parked for greater than 72 hours. But now I'm the only person on my block that has to be constantly playing musical chairs with my vehicles because one person has a problem with where I park my car. And I don't think you know, that's why I moved to this town for. I don't think that's the kind of um, peace of mind that I want and you know, peace of living that I'm looking for when I'm living in a town like, like Union. And I feel that something needs to be done because now if I were to take a vacation, how do I know I'm not gonna come back and all my cars are gonna be towed? Simply because somebody has it out for a car that's parked where they don't want it to be parked. Not on their property, not in front of their property, across the street from their property. Yet, they can just call the town, the town will put no notice, and just swoop the car away in a heartbeat. Thank you for that's bringing that to our attention. Our police director is the first that's coming to our attention here. So I'm gonna ask our police director to uh, address this. So that law is a state law. It's a 72 hour law. Our policy is to make attempts to come to the house um, to make notification for you to move the car. I'd have to look into this. I'll mm -hmm. check into the address, see uh, what the circumstances were. Um, but we don't go out and just tow cars and mark them for 72 hours. We only do it when there's complaints. Um, if you are going on vacation or something like that, make notification to us. You know, we'll make sure that, you know, you get available, you know, the, the accommodation for that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll look into it. I'll meet you in the back. I'll get your name and number, and um, we'll go from there. But, you know, our policy is to make numerous attempts before we tow the car. Thank you. Okay. And if you two contact so he can look into that for you. Anyone else wishing to speak? Seeing none, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a good evening, everyone.